It's the international soundtrack to the holiday season. What is it about the Nutcracker that makes it a holiday staple? First of all, it build, brings the family together. Miko Nissanen is the artistic director for the Boston Ballet. Keeps the attention of the youngest ones, and then the grandparents are super happy because everybody in the family is happy. And then there's some really killer classical dancing in it. Some of that dancing will be performed by the company's newest member. My name is Michaela De Prince. I'm a second soloist with Boston Ballet. Does it feel good to say that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> with 38 performances of the Nutcracker in the 30-day run, performers learn multiple parts to stay nimble. De Prince is no stranger to wearing multiple hats. All right, so you're a dancer, author, actress, international <laughs> spokesperson. When do you sleep? Never. <laughs> There is one more title that she carries with pride, role model. For a long time, I'd had teachers telling me you should go do modern, you should join Avenilli, not Avenilli. Avenilli is an incredible company, but I'm a classical dancer and you have the opportunity to change the way people see black and brown dancers. I'm gonna really try to speak up for them, especially if they feel like they can't speak up for themselves. It's like, to to heaven in here. A single performance of the Nutcracker features 182 different costumes, which is why I rejoin Nissen in here in the Boston Ballet costume shop. Here we find rodents. Oh, you are not a nice mouse. And bunnies and bears. Oh my. How difficult is it to dance in some of these costumes? They have to understand if I look like this, what kind of uh, expression the outer frame has. It's not easy. <laughs> With so many options, it should be difficult to pick a favorite. There's a lot of sparkle people. But not for me. My eye automatically goes to this costume here because I believe this is the Sugar Plum Fairy. And if I were to be a dancer, I would want to be the Sugar Plum Fairy. <laughs> oh my god. This, now you this are might the be my plum. moment. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't leave the home of the Boston Ballet without a brief dance lesson. And what better teacher than one of the company's principal dancers, Tigran Mikar Chen. I would never, ever, ever continue probably doing ballet if my mother wouldn't pay the price to raise me the way she did, because this is the most beautiful thing I found to give her back, you know? Mm, beautiful. And back to Michaela de Prince, uh, the dancer. She was born in Sierra Leone and adopted by an American family. Yes, and she co authored a book with her mother about her journey, and it is a best, international bestseller, that is. It's called Taking Flight from War Orphan to Star Ballerina. Mm. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Hope you have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Have a good night, everybody.